The start of a new year is always a time of reflection. We look back on the past, grateful to have learned from our successes and failures. It seems that life is never short of challenges, but at Rhino, we like to look at them as opportunities. And before I start sounding too cliche, let me explain with a story that starts here. Last week, my good buddy Pete reached out to me. It's been a minute since we've been able to hang out. He's a big snowboarder and knows that I love to ski, but don't get out enough. He's the kind of person that actively tries to help people do what they love. We all need friends like this. He asked if I wanted to go cat skiing with him and a couple of other friends. As fun as this sounded, I immediately thought of all the reasons why I couldn't, from family responsibilities and work to not even having the right equipment for this type of trip. It was just going to be too much to line up on too short of notice. Saying no seems like the only sensible answer. This got me thinking about the boxes we often put ourselves in, professionally, creatively, and even emotionally. Was I viewing this whole situation with the wrong lens? What could I gain from saying yes? Fresh air in a new environment does a lot to spur creativity. It'd be a nostalgic revisit to what got me into film in the first place. Then I thought about a recent call I had with a Rhino user, Richard Watson. He's an incredible time-lapse photographer based in Ireland. We talked about how his business has changed as a result of the pandemic. The lack of corporate work forced him into new creative territories. Now months later, he's midway through an insanely ambitious project. He said something that really stuck with me. In order to keep momentum in what I'm doing, is you know, I, I try to come back from every trip with one, one time lapse I'm happy with, one decent clip. But what I find, and it, it's the ultimate thing really in doing this, is you just have to enjoy being out. Because I've had plenty of times where I've got nothing and you come back really disheartened and you just have to remind yourself you're out in the mountain range. You're normally really busy with commercial work and you're sitting watching the sun go down, albeit you might be in a cloud, but you're outdoors and you have to learn just to enjoy the experience. If you get a really nice time-lapse clip, then happy days. But if you don't, it's just nice to be outdoors, you know. And that was it. That was the inspiration I needed. Now I just had to figure out what my one shot was. I primarily use my slider to do live video moves. I've always been fascinated by time-lapse photography, but haven't put as much time into it as I'd like. Ever since the crew nailed this shot on our short film Grounded, I knew this was the skill set I wanted to add to my filmmaking arsenal. So I answered yes, I'm in. Now to figure out the details. My lovely wife was cool taking kid duty. Pulled a few strings and found a deal and got the skis I needed. Then like the proverb says, find a way to make your play your work, check. And just like that, my reasons to say no had all become yes. Now this pretty much goes without saying, but the skiing was awesome. Even when mother nature doesn't cooperate with the best conditions, nothing beats the view from 10,000 feet. Normally, my nights are saturated with light pollution, but being camped out on a remote mountain is a great way to escape that. The night sky was crystal clear and the Milky Way did its thing. And just like that, I had my shot. Was it perfect? No. It was a great learning lesson that even the next morning I built upon. Creative growth often happens in stages. There are extreme periods of growth and then plateaus where you have to keep pushing through. When crawling through those creative ruts, it's easy to get discouraged, making it even easier to say no. Perhaps those challenging times are especially the times when you need to say yes. That's our resolution for the year. Find the right hurdles to say yes to. Here's to a new year full of fresh chances to learn and grow. What's your first yes going to be? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.